What's up amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of the Cybertruck from Tesla. So I am have a confession, I'm not a huge fan of Teslas, but the Cybertruck looks pretty cool. And it's very square, which obviously is not going to be great for aerodynamics, so I wanted to see just how aerodynamic it was. So we have a general model here of just some generic wheels and that, and we have streamlines going from left to right, from 25 meters per second down to zero. And as we rotate, we can see a few different features. So first of all, the streamlines coming from underneath the bottom, the front left wheel, impact the back left wheel, so that's not great. Also, there are some streamlines that come around the edge here. So let's rewind a little bit. These streamlines coming around the, the front left bumper, they first will go in the, they go in the um, wheel housing here, which is not great, but that happens with most cars anyway. And then the streamlines coming around the edge here, they separate and that's not great either. Um, so there are a few features which aren't the best. Over the top here, you have some streamlines. If we rewind that a little bit as well, you can see that they really pop up a lot. So the wake does increase around those regions. But there are some points which are not too bad, much better than I thought they would be as well, which we'll see in the next couple of videos. So this is the pressure plot on the Y plane going through the vehicle. The flow is going from left to right. And then already you can see the, the um, outlines of the wheels because of the effects that they have on the pressure. They lower the pressure. And one good thing is over the roof here, it's not as low pressure as what I expected. So with that angle there, I thought that the flow would really separate a lot. But it does, it's not too bad. The front, obviously, there is quite a high pressure, which is not great. You want to really reduce that as much as possible. The back, the pressure is not too low. So there are some surprising features, like, for example, that top part in the back, which do make the Cybertruck better than I thought it would be in some respects. And this is the U-magnitude plot on that same Y-plane. And the flow is going from left to right. So I used to do some research with wheels. And already I can see the quintessential wheel formation. So you have a vortex coming out the top here and a vortex down the bottom coming out. And this is exactly what you see in all cars, really. Very few cars have don't have this feature. So that's quite normal. As we play, we can see that over the top, again, the flow is pretty good over that roof. I'm quite surprised. The wake is quite big. It should be smaller than that. But then there's um, a jet of flow coming down and uh, underneath the underbody. The flow in the uh, wheel housings are fairly low, which is to be expected. Then look at that, the diffuser is not too bad. It really accelerates the flow and reduces that wake now. So that's that's pretty good there. So make sure to like, subscribe this and share this with any of the Tesla enthusiasts out there. And check out the courses we do here at Pronomics, check out the education we do, and check out the comments from every year. Links in the description. Peace out, amigos.